fine. That's a yeah, that works. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so we can just start. Um, if you're watching this, if um, can you tweet us and tell you tell us you can see? <laughs> and I'll say this again in a few minutes. <laughs> I'm sure I will get something. Thank y'all so much for being so beautifully, wonderfully you and patient and just amazing on every level. Thank you so much. Whew. Um, we here. <laughs> okay. Boom. All right. Okay. So more questions? Shall we or shall we wait? Let's see more questions. Got it. All right. So, top three favorite producers. <laughs> top of my list is definitely Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. <clears throat> yeah. So, not for me. Pharrell. I love Pharrell. Everybody loves Pharrell. Um, just the way Stevie Wonder puts everything together. Puts everything together. Just his arranging mind. You can tell like, there's a lot going on. Those are probably my top three. Yes, Callie. If since you're running this, do you mind when whoever's talking just clicking on their face? Of course. Thank you so much. Not at all. Mm -hmm. So okay. So Jimmy Jam, Pharrell, or oh, Jimmy Jam, Tara Lewis, Pharrell, and Stevie Wonder. Alex, top three. Um. Three. Ooh, uh, Quincy. Um, Stevie, definitely. Um, and Dilla. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I became obsessed with Dilla in college, <laughs> and after that, it was like no looking back. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, like yeah, definitely those three for me. Wow, wow, wow. So, I, do I have to say mine? Yes, please. Yes. <laughs> okay. They're not in any order because I don't do that. But Mad Lib, Timbaland, and Michael McDonald. Uh, tight. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, producer, you know what I mean? So like, um, yeah. yeah. Those are great. Yeah. Wow, guys. This is cool. Okay. So let's see. Who? Um, Callie, that was me texting you, girl. That was me calling you the whole, oh, night, the whole evening. Okay. So who? Okay. If you had like ultimate studio time in the like best studio ever and like all the money in the world, who would you work with for a week straight? Could it be someone dead or alive or they have to be alive? It could be George Washington Carver. I, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a good question. Yeah. For a week straight though. A week straight? Yes, like Y'all can take showers and go to sleep, but you gotta come back like every day and work on something. And just one, just one person. <clears throat> All right, two. Two, okay. You go first, Paris. I'm still thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. It's like people always ask, you know. Um, you know, version of this question, my answer is usually just like, oh, I really like working with Amber and Anita, which is, you know, ah, uh, like, whatever, but it's really true. Just kind of, we're still finding out a lot about ourselves. As far as working with other people, who would I, I don't know, there's that, you like, really, really love people a lot, and you love what they've done, what they've contributed, and you never know what it would be like if you actually, like, went into that other world and sat in a studio with Michael Jackson for a week. You know what, Michael? <laughs> what if he, like, what if he was, like, really annoying or, like, what if he, yeah, I know what you mean. 
<laughs> you don't know. But you can't pick. Are you going to say Amber and Anita? You can't say that. You already work with them. You got to say somebody that you don't know or you haven't worked with yet. Okay, fine. <laughs> I would, I would work with I would work with um, Paul McCartney. I would really like to work with Paul McCartney. I think that would be sick. And I would work with um, yeah, actually Michael Jackson. Girl is mine. Part two. Yeah. For a week. No, not that song. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Alex, how about you? Uh oh, she just disappeared. Frozen. Uh, um. She'll come back. There, there she goes. goes. So two people. If you were, if you had to be in this, well, if you had ultimate studio ability, you know, time, and you could be in the studio with one person or two people for a week straight, who would they be? Am Am Boo, you frozen. I don't know what's happening. Come back to us, Alex. <laughs> oh, technology. I know, right? No. I have a quick question while we wait for her to come back. Sure. Okay. Harris and Messina, either one of you, what what is the best experience that you think you've had in the studio producing, working with someone? Like the thing that you were like, this is why I do this. What was that moment? Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun working on Black Radio. That was awesome. Callie, can you switch to her face, please? I did. You did? See, I'm running. I'm late because I still see... Oh, am I not? Sorry, y'all. Keep going. Sorry, Paris. Keep going. Thank you. Why was why what happened? What what <clears throat> made it so special and so amazing? I mean, of course, it's amazing, but like what specifically, what moment did you look up and be like, oh my gosh? I think just the honesty. It was such a authentically true project. Just seeing kind of how Robert Glass would put it all together, like with all the different people, you know, sometimes it can, I don't know. I've never really been in a situation like that, but the way that it was done was so beautiful and so honest and so graceful, and it was really, really nice to be a part of it. And I felt like the collaboration we did was a really, you know, organic collaboration, and that's always the best way, when you can collaborate with someone and it doesn't feel like uh, contrived at all, it was just the most natural thing. Awesome. If we go pick up Black Radio, where, where do we find you on it? Where where is the Paris stamp on that one? Yeah, it's on Move Love. Um, Robert Glass for featuring King. Cool. Awesome. So Alex, now that you're back, yeah. what? So let's go back to this question because I want to know. So Paris said if she was she was able to have studio time for a week, and she had to pick two people. She would pick Paul McCartney and Michael Jackson. Alex, who would you pick? Um, I would say I would say Marvin Gaye. Um, oh, two people. This is hard. I would say Marvin Gaye, and I would say I'd say D'Angelo. Hey, good girl. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That would be so much fun. I would like to hear that for one. Me too. <laughs> Marvin Gaye and D'Angelo. Wow. Shoot. Sure. Definitely, definitely those two. If I if I have to pick two, I'd narrow it down to them for sure. Same. See, y'all picked like really good like musical people. How about you? I'm uh, Jay Z and Tupac. Yay. <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> I just want to, like, I, musically, like, I feel like I would rather, like, I would rather learn from somebody I don't know how to do what they do at all, you know, like, and I don't, 
rapping and coming up with things with no paper and all that. It's like, I just want to see. <laughs> so this is awesome. Okay, so as far as like mm, challenges, have there been any times where you were like feeling like maybe have you yeah have you had any challenges along the way has it been really easy <laughs> is it ever really easy though? never <laughs> but but i think it's on some sort of scale has there ever been like a point where you were on the you know on the scale and it was just re the stakes were really high you know in mm -hmm. comparison to normally yeah. um it's a We've, you know, every single thing is such, like, a awesome learning experience. Like, never, like, you know, crazy stuff has happened, but you're never, you never really even staying mad at, like, the situation, you know. Meet a lot of people, get into, you know, some interesting situations via said people. You know, sometimes you write songs about it or whatever, but, no, it's all been, it's all been really, like, Good. It's all part of like what I've always wanted to do the rest of my life. So I, you just kind of take it all, you know. Just um, you know, following your heart, if you will. It's not, you know, it's that's a sure way of it not being like the easiest thing you can do. So, but you know, doing it is the most rewarding thing you can do. I think. Awesome. Alex, has there any has there ever been a time where you just were like, this is hard. I don't like this. Um, I've never not liked it, but mm -hmm. definitely been challenges. Um, I mean, all across the board at some point. Um, whether I'm just simply sitting at the computer, you know, I'm scratching my head at something, or, um, you know, I've had, I've had a I've had experiences where, um, you know, I've shared my work with some people and, and um, in them attempting to pass on knowledge, it ends up just coming off as discouragement. I had somebody tell me, um, in a very nice way, tell me that I have no idea what I'm doing and I need to, <laughs> mm -hmm. I need to, uh, I need to turn to, um, turn to some other people for specific things as far as production. Um, so, I mean, that's not the easiest thing to hear, obviously. Um, but I think ultimately as long as, as long as the passion is there, as long as the will is there to just create, like that was, for me, that was the foundation of everything. I just wanted to get my music out. Um, so, you know, eventually I I had taken it upon myself to to create and find my own sound and expand on that. And I just had to it was just a matter of me keep to it was just a matter of me pressing through that and you know, moving on past any kind of discouragement, past any kind of frustration. Because it was definitely there. So it was just a matter of perseverance for me. Um and you know, again, the reward at the end is, um, you know, once you put something out, the, the reward is people listening for one and then people enjoying it and connecting with it, um, connecting with your art and being, um, being inspired. Like, that's, that's such a reward, um, such a reward for me knowing what, what I've put into everything and so I mean at the end of the day any kind of challenges any kind of obstacle like it's always worth it mm. always so awesome great so um, how do y'all feel about sampling because I know y'all use logic and I know that you all like are very well versed musically and everything is, you know, really awesome with how you guys play and how you all produce. How do you feel about sampling? Do you ever, is that something like as a producer, 
you're into or not into? I don't. I personally don't, you know, sample like songs. Um, but of course, we all enjoy music that does, you know. It's, I think a part of our generation too. Yeah. But I think it's a, it's a lot of fun to kind of um, experiment in that way and, and be inspired by like, you know, older stuff or you know, either stuff that's just not your own. But I personally just like to play all the parts. And I'm sure, I mean, I can speak for myself and say thank you. Like, mm -hmm. we like it when you play all the stuff. Keep, you know, don't do anything <laughs> any different. <laughs> and I'm sure all your fans think the same way. Um, Alex, how do you feel about sampling? Do you think that's something, um, yeah, how do you feel about it? Um, I love to listen to it. I mean, me being a Dilla head, like, I like I love how I love how he pieced I mean stuff all over the place like you would never think of he thought of it and so I think it's really cool to listen to that um, and I've tried it before on my end but I think aside from the whole business aspect of sampling and how that can get a little tricky um, I I like yeah, they're, sorry guys. They just keep I asking. Like sorry to cut you off, Alex. No, 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 no worries. Um, they're wondering how to ask questions. Um but guys, if you don't mind, can you not type into the the Google Plus? Maybe can you tweet us? That's better. Thanks so much. Okay. Yay. <laughs> I'm trying to read tweets too simultaneously, um, but um, I think for me specifically, I I like I like doing without sampling for my stuff. Um, you know, again, I have experimented with it, but um, I like I like going without it. I mean, I have sampled before, but it's been my voice, um, so I like it's a it's a challenge in a way to like create something and then sample from that um, but I think it's pretty cool to to do that to create the original source or be the original source and then take from that and you know flip it another way um, so I like doing that more more so than um, than sampling you know another another record or something like that yeah y'all are really talented like the fact that you can come up with everything you know from scratch, like I've done both, and I've, um, I mean, you know, y'all have heard me sample and then not sample for a long time, and now I'm sampling again, but like, um, I do find that like making songs, like there was one point where I was like, I'm just gonna write a whole bunch of like Beatles sounding songs and then sample them, mm -hmm. and then so that way I don't have to like pay the Beatles. Right. <laughs> you know, so like, but you know, because clearing samples and just like sampling and um, digging into other people's music sometimes can be difficult. Um, but I do think that a lot of producers, like you said, like Dilla, I mean, I've I named Mad Lib as my first like choice. I like the fact that you can use samples to sound like instruments, you know, in a pretty different way. Um, so we're just going to go for another, what did we say? It's like maybe two more questions. Um, so how does being a producer affect your life as a woman? And is it, is it a, like, Is it a thing or not? For me, not really. It's just kind of these two things are what I do. Like I'm a woman, I produce, but there's never, you know, it's never been like a, it's never been any friction or anything. You know what I mean? It's just kind of, I don't know. I know. I guess it is a rarity, but it's not anything that was a conscious like I'm gonna be a female producer. Yeah, so I was gonna just, you know. Right. 
there's me and you, baby, and I need to make it. So by default, that's just my life. So it's never a thing. Yeah, it's not a thing. <laughs> so Alex, is that is it like a big ta-da around being a female producer? Because yeah, I'll let you. No, I mean not on my end. Um, I mean I, I um, like I, I'm proud to be able to tell people like yeah I produce all my own stuff, mm -hmm. um, but I just I I'm a producer. I'm not a female producer. I'm just I'm a producer. Um, I think you know production knows no gender so I mean I think it's cool to be um, be a woman that produces my own stuff but I'm, I'm a producer I think you know anyone you know regardless man or woman I think anyone who um, as long as you have the the resources and the drive to do something like that I mean um, by all means go for it um, so again I mean there's there's definitely a sense of pride there for me but I just consider myself a producer, um, but I have gotten comments. Um, um, you know, I have gotten comments about, oh, like you're, you know, you're doing your thing, you know, as a girl, or you're doing your thing, like you're really producing, you know, as a, as a woman, like that's really dope. And so, um, I mean, it's 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 good to be noted for stuff like that, but but again, I, I consider myself just a producer. Yeah. I completely agree. I um, <laughs> I could tell y'all so many stories about you know me going into like Guitar Center and like being like, hey, y'all got that new machine, you know, and like just knowing <laughs> stuff and being like, oh no, nah, I need this specific thing, and they're like, who sent you or like why did, <laughs> how do you know this or do you know how to use it or do you need any help? And it's like, thanks for helping, but I'm cool. And I'm glad that we can kind of start this dialogue to say that it's not a big deal and it's not something that women should be afraid of. Because I do have a lot of friends who are vocalists and um, sometimes they can get a little, like, scared of using equipment and using programs. And it's like, well, it's easier to just, you know, make it yourself than to, like, ask anybody you mm -hmm. know for their help it's faster <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's easier. so I always encourage um, anyone to produce for themselves maybe just to see what happens you know like as an experiment there's something um, special that happens when um, the artist and the producer or are one in the same or work together consistently on a whole project or really just have that kind of bond but um, when you meet people like Alex or, or you who are like making the music behind the whole thought of what you wrote and all the melodies and it's all like one piece you know I think that speaks a lot too you know and I also encourage like people who sing or people who write like just even try to make your own music you know just to yeah. see what else is in there you know, that doesn't need another person to bring it out yeah completely and it's like even if it's not good at all at first, you know, like I really, I have to like plug that in. Like it might not be good, but like if you keep doing it, it'll start being amazing. But like you have to risk sounding like not so good at first, you know, in order to grow and to like do something that you actually want to do. Um, I'm really happy to have you all here. I don't want to like take up too much of your time. I want to ask you all just what your plans are within the next few months, next couple years, whatever you want to tell me. Um, and if you have any new music coming out, I know people want to know. Well, we'll be doing shows. We'll be traveling everywhere, um, just sharing the music with everybody, um, finishing up the album, putting out the album, all that fun stuff. So I'm really excited for everyone to hear. Awesome. And when does the album come out? I don't have a really safe way at it. Okay. Okay. Alex, what are you up to? Um, I'm in the I'm in the beginning stages of my next project. Um, 
So I have out two already that are free to stream and download, and I'm planning on putting this next one on iTunes. Um, I think I think it'll be more of an EP. I think I want to add to it eventually, but um, I think with this new project, um, I'm I'm expanding on you know what I put out definitely, but there's some new stuff sound wise and material wise that I'm tapping into, so um, I'm excited to hear how everything turns out, and um, I'm planning on I'm planning on previewing uh, previewing a couple a couple songs from this next project um, later this month. So um, yeah. I'm just anxious to to get uh, you know I'm back in that creative space where I'm just it's it's um, it's excitement for me and there's you know I'm anxious to just get everything finished and and out there. Yeah. So so this month will it be where will it be? It'll be on okay. SoundCloud. On SoundCloud, okay. Yeah, it'll be on SoundCloud. Um, it won't be downloadable just yet. Um, I don't think I'm going to have anything downloadable until the actual project is out on iTunes. Um, but I will be previewing. Um, I will be previewing uh, those couple of songs that I put out later this month um, through SoundCloud. So it'll be able to be, you know, streamed from there um, up until I release everything. Cool. Can't wait. That's super exciting. Yay! We did it. Success. Yay! <laughs> you guys. Yeah, I'm excited. I, I guess I can say now, Alex, um, I can tell everybody about the song that you produced on my album. Um, Yay! <laughs> Alex, yes! produced and wrote a song on my album. It's the last track. Um, the album will be out February and I'm excited for everybody to hear. Nice. Uh, Yay. I wanted to <laughs> I was hoping that would be mentioned but I wasn't sure. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted Is that to exclusive? Did we just get some exclusive information? Uh yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, yep. like, I am really honored to have you. Um I apologize for the technical difficulty in the beginning. Um hopefully you all forgive me. Uh, <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad we got it worked out. I'm really glad we got it worked out. Yeah, me too. Me too, because I'm glad people can go back and watch it. So, um, ladies, thank you. Everybody, thank you for watching. And it's a wrap. Thanks for coming to the meetup. Should we take a capture before we go? Yes. A capture picture thingamajiggy? I don't... How, how do you want to... <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh that's oh, cute. Okay. And Paris, you were smiling. That's cute. Okay. I wasn't, re I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. Okay. I'm doing, <laughs> I wasn't I'm ready. Doing one by one, and then I'll smile. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going crazy face. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what's happening right now. I don't know. Right, I just think it's ridiculous. Well, okay, so are we are we good? I think we're out of here. Yes, right. thank you all so much. Thank you, ladies. Thank that was you. really lovely. Awesome. Bye. Thank you. So much fun chatting with y'all. Thank you. Yes. See y'all later. Bye. Bye. Bye.